Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you this 6x6 bay window card. Isn't this so cool? And I'm going to do this in collaboration with Alina from Ella Arts and Crafts. I'm going to leave links to her channel down below and to her video. And you can pop over after you watch my video and see hers. This blue card was made using a 12 by 6 piece of cardstock and the white one was made using two pieces of white cardstock measuring 6 by 6. So if you don't have the larger sheet, you can always use the A4 sheets and make this style of card. It has a lovely amount of room inside to write your message. And I think this is a real mantle pleaser. It just looks lovely when it's stood up. So let's go ahead now and make our card. We're going to start with our larger piece of card and this measures 12 by six. We'll put a couple of score lines in here. The first one is at six inches, then six and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, and then finally, 11 and a half and then we'll burnish those score lines so i'm going to fold my card in half which gives us a mountain fold then we'll have a valley fold then a mountain another mountain and then a valley fold and we'll burnish all those score lines so that our card sits nicely when we have it standing up lovely so now I have here a piece of white cardstock. This one measures six by six and this one measures six by six. And we're going to score this the same as we did on the other side at six and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half and eleven and a half. And then the little tab on the left will stick that down onto our cardstock, our six by six one. We'll stick that tab down on here and that'll give us our six by six card and we're going to stick that tab down as well on our blue piece we'll add glue underneath that little tab on that one too and then we're both we have both cards ready to go so it's just a matter now of decorating our cards for inside the card i have a piece of five and three quarters by five and three quarters and i've stamped on this piece it's going to go inside our blue card I've used one of the stamps from the O oh Santa stamp set and I've used some stickers that came in that kit as well. I have two pieces here of patterned paper and these two pieces measure one and three quarters by five and three quarters. I also have a piece of patterned paper and this one measures three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters. I have a teeny strip here, a quarter of an inch by five and three quarters. And I have this, it's the stopper. And I have some foam tape on the back. This piece in the blue measures an inch by six and in the pattern paper is three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters. I have also die cut out two circles. These are from the Love From Lizzie August kit and they're a scalloped die set. And I've used this stamp, the Merry Christmas, which came from the O oh Santa add-ons that you can get. And I'll leave links to all the products that I can down below. So I die cut out the second largest die in blue, and then the third from the third largest from the inside, I die cut out in white. I stamped my sentiment and I took some of the little star stickers that we got on our sticker sheet to embellish the front of that. I'm going to use my Kalal glue to glue down all my pattern papers and I'm also going to use it to glue down the little half inch that we have there on the left hand side. I forget to do it here but I will come back to it later and do it so don't forget to do that now while you're gluing down that piece on the inside then glue down the piece there underneath. So I'll put my little skinny quarter inch strip down and then I'll put my two panels down. And this was cut from one piece, so I want to make sure that they're in the right orientation. So I have the left one down and then we'll pop down the right hand side. 
I'm sorry about the ugly plaster that's there on my hand as well. I was handling a die today and you know, I got a little cut from it. It's about an inch long. I couldn't believe it, but it just goes to show you to be careful of those owl dies. They can be dangerous. Mind you, I've cut myself on a blunt knife. I'm lethal with anything sharp. So now I'm going to stick down my stopper piece. I'm going to make sure that that's nice and straight to the edge of our card base. And then it's just a matter of putting down our focal point. Now I put my foam tape on the die cut here, but it would be easier to actually put it on the center of the panel and then put your die cut down on top of that. So there you go, there is our card made. You can see that I forgot to glue down the little tab on the left hand side, so don't forget to do that. Our little tab on the right hand side sits lovely underneath our stopper. And here you can see the white card base that we've made. I went ahead and glued everything down because it's the same as the one that we've done. So here's some images of the cards that we made today. I hope you liked my tutorial and if you did, you might consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. And if not, you might click on that bell icon down below. That way you'll be notified each time I post a new video. I'd like to say thanks to Lizzie for supplying us with a fabulous November O oh Santa kit. I hope you'll have a look at the links down below and also have a look at the other designers who made cards using this kit and I'll leave links to those as well down below. And don't forget folks to pop over to Alina at Ella Art and Craft and see her YouTube tutorial. So that's it. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye for now.